on a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. How's everyone doing? It's the Teddy Bear. Welcome to Night Tracks Radio. And today's artist spotlight, gifted singer, songwriter, and model to her credit. The simply super talented Aya Ito is blessing us this afternoon with her new hit single, Machine, featuring Jason RXO. Welcome to the show, my love. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I am doing wonderful. We have a lot to talk about. First and foremost, I want to hop back in Dr. Doctor Who's time machine, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to go back to your 21, 2021 single, Something New. And I wanted to talk to you about the progression as an artist, as a singer, to where you are right now. How have you seen yourself elevate yourself as a complete overall artist from that standpoint? Yeah, so 2021 was like, I would say like a year into like being becoming so a solo artist. And so I was definitely learning a lot about myself as an artist, um, as a solo artist. And um, I think at that time, I definitely like could sing really well and I'd been performing regularly and everything. But since then, you know, I've, I've developed more with my vocals. I've learned to control my voice. I've learned um, how to use dynamics more with my voice. And I've also um, really practiced and gotten much better at the piano, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> um, and then I think just, yeah, in terms of writing, um, just like writing more, you know, I, th I feel like people write um, differently in different stages of their lives. So, um, yeah, I think it's not necessarily a better thing, but just a different thing. <laughs> well, it comes down to the journey. The only way we gain experience is through the journey of life, through different various experience, whether it's personal or professional. And you being such a captivating, multicultural young lady, I wanted to ask you, <laughs> I wanted to ask you how much, you know, Growing up or being born actually in Tokyo, what was it like during that time as far as from a music standpoint? Because Tokyo and Japan in general, they love, I mean, they love R&B. They yeah. love it with a passion. And I wanted to ask you, what are some of the things that you remember about during that time growing up there as far as that helped you cultivate your music aspiration? Yeah, so um, my mom always, um, when we moved to the U.S., she always rented um, VHSs from, they had a Japanese video rental store in Indianapolis. So, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we would go on the week and rent the videos. Um, and a lot of the shows were like music shows. It would be like music station where they would feature new artists or um, just artists with new songs out and they would do performances and stuff. So that really, um, I feel like influenced my love for music. And then in 98, I think it was around 98, was when this one of my favorite and like inspirational artists, Utara Hikaru, debuted. And um, she was like the first Japanese artist that really did like our Japanese R&B. And that, I, I just loved her from the beginning. And I think that really um, influenced my love for Japanese music and my love for, or my, like the ability to be able to know, like you can mix, you know, Japanese, Japanese music can be soulful. It can be R&B by like what we've heard sometimes, you know, in the past. Without question, that's one thing I've always said about music. There are no color lines. Music brings unity. We all have that great gratification to actually a moth to a flame kind of aspect where we're drawn. We're drawn to music. And I've seen your vocals elevate since that time. And it's a beautiful thing to actually witness. It's like having this beautiful butterfly just bloom and just sprout her, <laughs> and sprout her wings. But one of the things that I do really truly admire about you is about completely understanding who you are, not just as an artist, but as a person. And I want to talk about empowerment because I know this new single speaks to a lot about empowerment, self-empowerment, 
-hmm. never allowing anyone to dictate what you want to do or who you want to be yeah. as a person. And I want you to speak to the many fans and supporters out there about this particular meaning of this song to you. Yeah, so it's called Machine. And I think a lot of us probably struggle with um, every day feeling like we have so much to do and kind of feeling like we're this machine that's like we're endlessly working. And, you know, sometimes it feels, it can feel like no matter how much work we put in, we're not getting to where we want to go, where we want to be. Um, and I wanted the song to reflect like every little bit counts every little bit that you do counts um and you know some of the lyrics are like um I, I came from a dark place or i came from a cold place and i was born and that's something that really um came from the heart because i i feel like i've had some you know tra traumatic stuff in the past and like things that times in life where you know you're kind of like i don't know i don't know what to do and um, I think that song really reflects like you can get past that hump. You just have to, you know, believe in yourself and then just keep going. And yeah, we are kind of like machines, but we're better than machines. <laughs> Without question. I mean, it gives it all that old metaphor. It's like we're all a bunch of minions. Exactly. Groves me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, know, <laughs> you know, and. <laughs> One of the things you just touched upon, and I really want people to truly understand this, you know, people see the lights, they see the stars, they see all the glamour, you know, as far as music and what it represents, but they don't truly understand the amount of dedication and pressure that an artist goes through and experiences just in everyday life, trying to balance a professional career and also balance a personal life. And I have had the pleasure of conversing with a lot of wonderful and exceptional artists like yourself. And they always talk about at a certain point in time in their life, they've been in this dark place, whether it's being depression or not really truly knowing who to trust, yeah. how important it is to have a stable foundation. And I want to speak on that a little more. How important is it to cultivate and have a stable foundation around you with people that you know that you truly trust and have your best interests at heart. Oh my gosh, it's so it's so important. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can't do any you can't do anything by yourself. Like nobody nobody can do anything by them completely by themselves, you know. And we as much as we want to be able to take care of ourselves by ourselves, we can't. We need we need other people who can encourage us and support us, especially in times when we're down and um, depressed maybe. Like we need people to uplift us. We need love. We might just need a hug or anything. And um, I think it's really important to have that because a lot of times you can be your biggest critic. And if you have other people around you who really support you and you can can tell you no like you're you, you're doing really well like you should really believe in yourself like look at this that you've done look at that that you've done and kind of reminding you like actually i have accomplished a lot and um just being there for you i think that's it's really really important and i'm i'm very lucky because i have a very supportive partner and i have my godparents who are extremely supportive um and my my siblings and um you know, my fam my aunt, like, I just have so many people in my life that um, are really supportive and I and my friends, I, I can't thank them enough for all of that. It is definitely a beautiful thing to know that you actually know it resonates when you know that you have people that care about you yeah. as a person, not trying to get something from you. It's like, hey, I'm I'm able to maintain a balance in my life. How challenging is it, though, to cultivate relationships as far as music is concerned, whether choosing a particular producer that you would like to work with or maybe working with another artist that you have some admiration towards? Yeah, I would say um, it can be difficult or it can not be difficult. <laughs> right. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of artists that I would love to work with, but um, 
kind of are out of touch right now. Hopefully they won't be for too much longer, but um, okay. also in this industry, there's a lot of talk of people talking and saying yeah. they can do this or they can make this happen or they know these people and they know those people. Um, and I think it's really important as an artist and as an independent artist to do your research and make sure you're looking into everything like look at look at the social media look at what kind of music they've put out what the lyrics are like i specifically have said i will not do any collaborations with anybody who um wants to do a song about gang violence or guns or like that's derogatory towards women i i won't go there <laughs> um but that's you know that's an yeah. artist's choice and you have to make sure you do research right. because you know you don't want to be in a position where you're like oh i did this song with this person and then it comes out that you say something in that song that you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't realize that that was going to be in that song. Or I didn't realize yeah. that they that they believed in, in this and then they're, you know, posting stuff on social media and they're like, wait, how you guys are, you know, involved? Like, <laughs> how, how does that work? So um, I right. think it's just really important to make sure you do your own research. Don't depend on anybody else. Without question. Research. What that's called is called having integrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having integrity and knowing one's worth and yeah. what they bring to the table. And I love what you bring to the table. You have you. such. And the thing is, what I love about it right now is that you haven't begun to even scratch the surface <laughs> of what you're capable of doing. Now, I want to touch a little upon the modeling. You know, the camera loves you and you oh. definitely love the camera. <laughs> <Thank laughs> love you. the camera. What can we expect? Because you know, music and fashion, they all intertwine with one another. They're all intertwined. What yeah. can we expect as far as on the modeling aspect from you in the near future? Yeah, so I mean for the most part I'm I'm signed with an agency, so I do just like um, you know, random stuff commercials or like um, different ads and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping to um, do a uh, more um, a creative photo shoot. Um, I want to do some stuff um, with some really cool um, outfits and different hairstyles and stuff like that. Because um, I need to get updated pictures anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm thinking. <laughs> In the next few months, I'll probably get some new pictures out, which I'm really excited about, um, and, just, and just figure that out. Okay. Well, family, I want everyone to know, of course, the new single, Machine, is available as we speak on iTunes, Apple, and if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you can always head over to Amazon.com. Yeah. <laughs> and also, for those who have yet had the opportunity to see this captivating artist perform live, April 27th, just a couple of days away. She'll be performing at Maestro's. Yes, Lord. Maestro's Restaurant in Chi-Town. That's in Chicago, Illinois, of course. Get all the latest updates on that. And I'm telling you, taste the warm butter cake. And the, oh, <laughs> Lord. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Woo, the warm butter cake and the tomahawk steaks are on a whole another level and i promise i'll give everyone the pertinent information to that but far be it for me to deprive the listeners of the new hit single of course machine featuring the captivating and super talented lord have mercy miss ito here on night tracks <laughs> what you came here for i'm on the top of your list see you clench in your fist i can tell you
Lord have mercy. I eat tell of course machine featuring Jason RX here <laughs> on Night Tracks Radio. Lord have mercy. And family also, you know, Teddy Bear has to give me just a slice of cheesecake, but to get a full course meal, stop by iTunes, pick up her 2022 EP, Just Might. And my favorite song on that entire EP is called Spellbound. You <laughs> you <that>. did <laughs> you did an exceptional now I, I i gotta question you a little bit about this now uh, you had a wonderful ep you've released a single when can we expect either another ep or another single from you hopefully very soon yeah so i am actually working on two songs uh, one song i'm actually done with my part it's actually going to be a duet with an, uh, another uh a female rapper so I'm really excited about that. Or we're hoping to get it released uh, maybe by the summer. So um, if we can get that done uh, and out by in the next few months, that would be great. And then another one just has more of like a Latin vibe to it. So okay, okay. And there might be Spanish in that one too. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> well, you know, this is your home, away from home, whatever you need. Please do not hesitate to let us know. We love you, and more importantly, we respect what you're doing and also family be sure to stop by her official bandcamp page okay that's iaito.bandcamp.com and also catch up with her on instagram bazillion b-l-a-z-i-o-n bazillion sensation lord have mercy that's okay. on instagram <laughs> <laughs> that's on instagram and again this coming actually the 27th would be what this saturday if i'm not saying saturday. that's right saturday. saturday this saturday she'll be at maestro's restaurant that's in chicago illinois again like i said be sure to get your hands around that butter cake lord have mercy if you're gonna send send that way it's a beautiful it's a beautiful <laughs> picture <laughs> <laughs> my love much continued success happy trails and have a wonderful and ex blessful experience when you perform okay we love you yeah, all right thank you so much for having me oh my pleasure that's super talented <laughs> oh god i ito here on night tracks radio lord and mercy jesus <laughs> you gotta love it it does the teddy bear's heart good when you see someone that stands on their morals and they know what they expect and what they won't settle as far as for less, you know, never give in to things that are easy. I always strive for greatness. And that truly impresses me about her. Again, be sure to purchase the new hit single machine featuring Jason RXO available on iTunes, Apple, Spotify, on iHeartRadio and also on Amazon.com and be sure to follow her support her on all her official websites that's on instagram at bazillion b-l-a-z-i-o-n sensation that's on instagram that's aya ito spelled with an a a y i t o lord have mercy <laughs> and for those who missed the interview new need to feel we got you covered we're streaming live on iHeartRadio, spotify 
and Pandora. Yes, we are also on Pandora too. And for those who missed the visual aspect of the interview, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel that's at youtube.com forward, forward slash Night Tracks with two X's. That's at Night Tracks Radio Music Podcast. Also on TikTok with the same handle, Night Tracks Radio, as well as Instagram and the artist formerly known as Twitter. We're on X. That's at Night Tracks Radio. So be sure to tune in and check us out and get all the latest updates. And also, before I leave you, I want everybody to be sure, and I want to send out a very special thank you to Grammy nominated, and I call him Grammy Award winner in my heart. He should have won a Grammy a long time ago. Mr. Kirk Whalem. I want to thank him very much for joining us yesterday. Family, be sure to get his new album, Epic Cool. The official release date is on May the 17th, but you can always let your fingers do the walking and put in that little early bid. You know what I mean? So you can get it earlier, much earlier, much sooner than you want. That's what we need to do. Support great music. On behalf of all the listeners and supporters, I want to thank you everyone for tuning in and allowing the teddy bear to help you tune out all the negativity. It is my pleasure. And as always, keep it soulful and have a phenomenal weekend. God bless. Here on Nitrax Radio.